I've been in special ed 22 years. I really have never seen a child have more to overcome and not want any help, not complain, not give any excuses. I can't. So often I'll say, do you want help with that, Irina? Nope, I got it. I'll do it by myself. I wanted to tell people that life is hard with one hand, but you get through it. Okay, this story is about a girl named Morgan, and she has one arm. She's trying to get like through the school year with her fake arm, and then it gets broken. And like they sent her another one. They sent her like an FBI one, she say, and it like does all these cool tricks and stuff. You, you. This is good, Irina. She heard the bell ring. It was time to go to gym. It was difficult because she had the fake arm. Do you want to read a little bit of that, honey? Okay. The one thing that was different about Morgan was her fake arm. It was brown and attached to her shoulder. Instead of a hand, she had a hook. She hated the arm because it was so heavy and sweaty and ugly. Irina has to dictate her work to me because she can't type. So when she dictated that passage to me, it just broke my heart because I knew she was talking about herself. We want Irina to have a hand, and Mrs. Bird found um, somebody that not only will be willing to give her a hand and an elbow, but each of the fingers will be able to move. We're fighting for a hand. Nobody wants a hook. I'd grow another arm for her, <laughs> just like she'd have to. Realistically, she needs something that's functional, that looks nice. She's uh, 12 years old, she's coming a young lady, and she needs something other than just a hook. Say so hooks are functional, but... They've, the technology has come so far, and the hands and the fingers are so natural looking, and that's what we'd like for her. And I want her to find peace and, and contentment. It's a hard life, a lot of struggles.